Hi, I'm David Smith, Extension Field Crop Pathologist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and we're out here today with Rodrigo Worley, who's our Extension Weed Specialist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. So Rodrigo, I know a lot of the hot questions on Twitter right now really revolve around uh, herbicide resistant weeds. And I was just curious, you know, what, what weeds do we need to be worried about that are herbicide resistant here in Wisconsin? Yeah, that's a great question, Damon. Uh, great to be here. So three major weeds uh, we're working with. The first one, it's horseweed. Majority of the horseweed comes up in the fall. Uh, we've done some work with it. We found that several Wisconsin populations are actually resistant to glyphosate. The next one is going to be giant ragweed. Uh, the number of cases of glyphosate and ALS resistance in, in giant ragweed continues to increase. And then the third one, the one that we spend the most time working with and focusing on is water hemp. Uh, you know, we've done extensive work uh, in our greenhouse uh, trying to confirm resistance or you know, documenting resistance. Uh, to this point, uh, more than 95% of the populations that we screen are confirmed to be resistant to both glyphosate and ALS herbicides. Oh uh, man, that's a huge challenge. It I'm is. glad I'm a plant pathologist. It is, <laughs> it <laughs> so, is. So, so, you know, we're looking at these weeds and a lot of farmers are planting, they're working on their herbicide programs right now. You know, what would you recommend if you, you know, had, a, had an issue with, you know, one or two or even all three of those, those weeds? Yeah. What would you recommend management wise? That's a great question. So folks are going to be seeing horseweed uh, or also known as meristeo in no-till fields. That's where meristeo tends to be a problem. It's going to start flowering pretty soon here and this is when it gets uh, difficult to control. So the recommendation if you're in a no-till scenario, a good burn down herbicide 2,4-D and a product like uh, Sharp and I think a mix of the two is quite common for meristeo burn down. Giant ragweed is starting to, emer it's starting to emerge now. Uh, you know, our crew was down at uh, Janesville, Janesville yesterday, that's our giant ragweed site, pretty heavy pressure. So folks going in, uh, if you're not going to do tillage, pre-plant tillage, because pre-plant tillage takes care of that. But if you're not doing it, again, an effective uh, burn down uh, ahead of your soybean planting to start clean, and an effective pre-emerge herbicide, usually a combination of a group 2 and a group 14, tends to do a good job. And then the third one, which is yet to emerge, we don't see water hemp emerging here in Wisconsin until later May. And that's something important right now. A lot of people are uh, planting uh, that water hemp will merge later on. But the main recommendation for uh, water hemp control, it's a very effective pre-emergence herbicide program. That's the foundation uh, for water hemp control. Some good stuff right there. Make sure you check out whiskweeds.info for more information if you're struggling with herbicide resistant weeds or just need a weed management plan, or you can get a hold of Rodrigo himself. Absolutely. Uh, check us out on Twitter at whiskweeds. Uh, we got a lot of videos coming out for you guys. Uh, check our blog, whiskweeds.info. Thank all you all. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Damon.